Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. Today being November 29th, 2017, we've seen an amazing move by Bitcoin. Today actually was the first day it moved above 10,000. So right there, it broke out above 10,000, tested it, and would go on to record the highs here of about 11,400. 11, now, what happened after that has been short of dramatic. I mean, it has been five hours of craziness because what we've seen here is Bitcoin has moved from 11,400 to the lows here of about, I believe, was 9,250. So you're talking about a 2,100 drop. So 2,000 point drop from here to the lows here. Now what we are looking at here is an hourly chart, which I mentioned in the previous video. And if you take a look at this, if we zoom out a little bit, so let's zoom out here. I want to show you something interesting. Number one, you can see that if you take a look at the lows here, there's a reason why that's where we've seen the recent hourly low. And to see that, you have to go back, zoom out a little bit on the hourly, and I'll show you a line here which connects the lows of the RSI. It's a simple line from here. So from here, let's see whether I can get that. So there you have it. So what this line does, it gives us, connects the lows here. Hard to see there. So we can see here, it connects the lows here, here, and here. We came back and touched that line during the recent five hour pullback, and that's where we stopped going down. So again, that line, let me draw it one more time. It's the line connecting RSI low. And that's the line right there. So it came and touched that line and we see that this is now where the hourly slide has stopped. So if somebody was trading this, that's where you take your first action and bet that if you're a short term trader, you're tr looking for an opportunity for the next couple of hours, next couple of days. That's where you take a bet that the stock is about to hold short term. Now, at the same time, we also know that if we come back and break below this line, that's going to be a major sell signal for Bitcoin in the short term now that's one view there's another view and it's a view based on the uniformity principle those who are familiar with it should know where i'm going with this if not if you're not familiar with it there should be a link that i'll provide in the description of the video explaining this method but what we do here is figure out where we began the recent move we can see there was a low here and the cryptocurrency would go on to record this amazing historic run. Now, what we do, we take that information. We can see this is where the RSI moved above a range. In other words, there was a breakout there of some sorts. We take that information and draw our uniformity support line. That horizontal line is what we call a uniformity line. And anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action, we should expect a bounce to take place. Uniform action below the line back above it, there is a bounce. Uniform action below the line back above it, there is a bounce. And over the last couple of hours, uniform action below the line back above it. So we can see logically, that's the second reason why around here it might start recovering for a swing trade to the upside, a swing trade that might last a couple of hours, couple of days, who knows. And also here, we can also conclude very simply here that a break of that trend line there if it breaks that trend line that's going to be a change of support possibility and a break would mean to expect much much lower prices now there's another view which is a third view pointing to the same thing so all i need to do here is zoom out or zoom in a little bit and so what we're going to do is we're going to use this recent low here and this price low it's the most recent low that began this recent uptick in Bitcoin. Now what we do, we take that information and we draw our uniformity support line. Should be something like that. Now, if you don't understand this uniformity principle, please take a look at the link that I will provide in the description of the video. 
because understanding this is very critical in trying to understand how you can play for a potential bounce. Now you can see that we know that anytime we have uniform activity, you can play this for a bounce. Here is uniform activity number one, which gave us those hourly closing lows. And now we are seeing another moment of movement below the line and back above it. It seems to be holding. And that again is a sign of support. So we can see here hour to hour. If this can hold, then we can expect a swing trade to the upside. And as we've seen with the other lines, should we break below that line at some point, that's going to be a major sell signal. So again, to understand this method, you have to understand the uniformity principle, which is a principle that I discovered and I'm sharing with you guys freely. Use as you find fit. And you can see here again, uniform activity number one, uniform activity number two. Suggesting that right now Bitcoin is trying to put up put a bottom and potentially that there's gonna be some type of a recovery attempt Due to this line right here So let me draw that one more time Uniform activity again there all right, so you got number one uniform activity and number two right there also keep in mind if you take a look at the daily irrespective of this 2000 point swing from here to here on a daily basis so that's almost a 2100 point swing from the lows from the highs to the lows we still remain with a bitcoin that is trading above 69.1 on the daily and as long as the RSI is above 69.1, the momentum, the energy, the intent, the desire continues to be pointing to the upside. Also, don't forget that the weekly continues to trade above 69.1. So as long as the weekly is also above 69.1, expect that week to week, the instrument continues to be favoring the upside. As long as that's the case that is don't forget on the monthly we have the same view right now we are looking at Bitcoin on the monthly trading with the RSI at 95 close to 95 at 94 now you might think that that means it's a definite sell but what that tells me is that this is absolute strength and that's as long as it is trading above 69.1 in the coming weeks and in the coming months it should be sideways to bullish and in fact, this type of a hyperbolic finish is typical of what happens to an instrument that moves above 69.1 and holds above it. You have this tremendous strength. So if you understood that Bitcoin being above 69.1 meant that it was sideways to bullish and that there's a possibility of a hyperbolic move, well, we got the sideways to hyperbolic move situation. And so the more the RSI can hold above 69.1, even on the monthly, signs are this is stable to outright bullish. Now, you can see a clear evidence of this here during this period where the RSI was above 69.1. It's only after the RSI broke down below 69.1 here in 2000 early 2014 once the rsi broke down below 69.1 is when we came off the highs here and drifted lower this is eric mother with mother.com i shall provide all the necessary links to more educational videos as relates to what i've discussed here in the description of the video and again if you want me to continue recording these types of cryptocurrency videos for you guys please support the channel by subscribing by sharing the video and also by clicking the like button it only takes a second so click the like share and subscribe this is eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s and one more last thing one more just one more bear with me look guys those of you who are trading cryptocurrency for the first time and you know you're learning how to trade 
you're learning how to use the charts um, <laughs> the funny thing is those of us who've been trading stocks all these years find this to be just any other chart there's no difference in trading currencies trading commodities trading stocks trading ETFs trading markets or indices there's no difference and there's no difference in trading cryptocurrencies all trading instruments irrespective of the sector of the market irrespective of what they are trying to pertain doesn't matter whether you're trading metals or you're trading uh, soybeans the charts are always the same so once you learn technical analysis you can transport this to whatever is going to be the biggest moving instrument next time around all right so just remember I see a lot of people trying to you know designate cryptocurrencies as a new way of trading it is not <laughs> all these things I discuss in this video are things that we've been using in the stock market for many many years they work in the stock market they're definitely working as far as cryptocurrencies is concerned why because ultimately human beings are trading these instruments peace and blessings e a c s love ya Mwah. Whoa. yeah remember subscribe share and like Otherwise, without an audience, why keep recording? And now I shall drift off quietly. Drifting off, drifting off, drifting off, drifting off, drifting off, drifting off. You're still here, 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 you're still here. That was awesome. See you guys. Bye.